my project concerns um, man-made global warming due to uh, large CO2 emissions by, for example, coal-fired power plants. And uh, the focus has been to find a substance that can absorb CO2 reversibly so that you can uh, put in sort of a CO2 filter in the flue gas that can then be replenished by heating it. And uh, this filter consists of uh, what we call an ionic liquid. It is a new material, a salt that is liquid, and we have chosen to functionalize it with an amine group that can trap CO2 as a carbamate. So an ionic liquid, it's usually quite viscous, but consists entirely of ions and has no vapor pressure. Diffusion through it is quite slow. And in order to overcome this, we support it on a yeah, support material. I've mostly been working with uh, silica, and that material looks something like this. And we envision that we, we're going to use this material in an application due to the lack of mass transfer limitations. For example, in a monolithic structure such as this one, um, you would simply dip this in the ionic liquid to coat it uh, on the sides. When air flows through it, you then get a maximum um, interaction between the ionic liquid and the gas, uh, which creates the chemical filter for, for CO2. Towards the end of my PhD, I was able to uh, get a proof of principle that uh, our substances, these ionic liquids, were able to capture all CO2 in an even very dilute gas stream, perfectly cleaning the gas of CO2 which means that you can use it as a, a filter in, for example, a flue gas stream or even for upgrade of, for example, biogas. Uh, it's very exciting since uh, that we're able to uh, find a substance that was able to do this completely. <laughs>